Today, I'm introducing a new tool called the LOD generator for Blender. Right now, I have a model in front of me, and I'll use this to demonstrate how the tool works. Let's begin by loading the tool. Head over to Preferences, choose Install, and select the tool from its location. Once installed, you'll see it appear at the bottom. All the settings will be available in the tool window on the right side panel. You can access this by pressing N or by clicking on the tool tab. This add-on allows you to generate up to eight LOD levels, depending on your needs. Now let's talk about the values. LOD 0 is set to 1.0, which means 100% of the original poly count. For this demonstration, I'll stick with five LODs. You also get useful features like displaying the polygon count and vertex count of the selected object. Options to preserve UVs, preserve volume, and preserve materials are also included, ensuring your model stays intact during the LOD generation process. There's even a distance preview feature that works through the camera view to visualize how each LOD will appear from a distance. Let's apply the settings. I'll keep LOD 0 at 100%, but instead of using the generated version, I'll use the original object, an old tractor, as LOD 0. Then we'll go with LOD 1 at 75%, LOD 2 at 50%, LOD 3 at 25%, and LOD 4 at 10%. Now we simply hit the Generate LOD button. The script will automatically apply the naming conventions and complete the generation process with a single click. Done. Next, I'll delete the generated LOD 0, copy its name, and assign it to the original object, so it becomes LOD 0. Now we have our full set, LOD 0 to LOD 4. Let's check the result and observe any distortion or change in poly count. I'll move each LOD slightly to view them side by side. LOD 0, the original, has around 20,000 polygons. LOD 1 has about 14,000. 2 is reduced to 10,000. LOD 3 is 5,000, and LOD 4 is just around 2,000 polygons. Despite the reduction, textures remain intact. Even if there's slight distortion, it won't matter much as it will be viewed from a distance. That's it. We're all done. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Go ahead and integrate this into your workflow.